The Phoenix Palm, or Canary Island Date Palm, is a handsome palm from North Africa. In the past, it's been used in landscaping in Australia, on reserves and in larger gardens, but it has now become an invasive weed. Seedlings often develop next to valuable native trees where birds roost, competing for water and nutrients and damaging the shape of the native tree. These palms are incredibly detrimental to Pitwater's overall environmental uh, well-being. They are expensive to remove. Classic example today being the cost of around $5,000. Money which could benefit the reserve in terms of money being spelt elsewhere on positive things. We are inundated with these palms throughout Pitwater. The overall cost of removing these palms in Pitwater would, would push into well into the millions. They heavily fruit, numbers are around 10,000 seed per individual, which is utilised by numerous wildlife in terms of fodder. Uh, sulphur crested cockatoos, parawongs feed on the fruit and disperse them over a wide range. Primarily any spike on a plant on foliage is used to defend against predation by wildlife. And these spikes, this tip, if it was to penetrate the skin, it causes a, a very nasty infection. In fact, Anders Bofeld, a botanist based out of Wollongong, a famous rainforest botanist, uh, died uh, through complications of being penetrated by a, a date spear. They're very human unfriendly. We get a lot of spikes on them. They cause a lot of damage to our climbers as well. Uh, when we're removing them, the guys have to wear gauntlets, uh, welder's gloves. They look great when they're pineappled up, but um, as far as being a, a human friendly or even environmentally friendly tree, they're really not. The, the, the cost to council to pineapple these trees is huge. Uh, it's usually cheaper to remove than it is to pineapple because we're felling these trees and then processing the heads. The barrels on this particular site, they're staying on site as habitat for the, for the lo local um, fauna. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a win-win situation. This is an industrial area and you can see how many palms there are, but they're tiny compared to the big ones and if you don't want to spend four or five thousand dollars in a few years time getting rid of a really big one, this is when you, when you should get them. There's dozens of them but the good thing is that they're still all quite small and they're quite easy to deal with at this stage. Right, with these little ones uh, what I'm going to do is use my very sharp saw to cut them off as low as I can to the ground. And then just in case I don't have, have not cut off the main growing point, I'm going to use some undiluted glyphosate to poison um, anything that's left that might grow. I've got my welder's gloves on because these palms have very sharp spikes right down the fronds. Because it's a very good saw, I should, might just be able to cut the whole thing off. Cutting straight across like that. Now that may not be low enough down to have um, taken out the growing point. I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put this roundup on, glyphosate on. It's got blue dye so we can see exactly where it is. We're not letting it spill onto the ground. Just putting it straight away onto the cut surfaces. We've got to do this within 15 seconds of cutting the palm off. Now this type of palm does not reshoot down the stem because it's Phoenix canariensis. I've put on welder's gloves because I don't want to get prickled by these nasty spines which aren't, even on these small palms are still quite nasty. The other thing is that when we've cut off the fronds, now they're lying over there, we'll have to put them somewhere so that nobody else working here could kneel on these things or step on them because these sparks can go right through your shoes even through your hand if you touch them accidentally. Uh, here's the bit that we cut off now to get rid of these safely what you can do is simply cut off all the bit above the spikes like that with your secateurs they're not they're not going to cause any harm but all these spiky bits we want to remove them, from, ow, remove them from the site. 
and that means you, you can just leave the top bits in a pile somewhere, not going to cause any trouble, but these nasty bits, well, like that, we can take that away so no one gets hurt by it. Now, let's have a go at this one. I'm just going to try to find the lowest point on the trunk. Try and get my saw in there. Because it's a palm, you do need to put herbicide over the whole surface. We're saving thousands of dollars by recognising these palms when they're little and doing something before they get too big. This is a young phoenix palm and you will see that the leaf is folded over where it joins the stem. It can be confused with the burrowong, perhaps, but in this case, the leaves grow out flat from the stem. And the other thing, at the base of the frond, there are no spines. This one's a bit bigger than the one we had before, so what I'm trying to do is to cut off the fronds. I need to cut off at least, at least a third of these fronds ensuring that I do the ones right in the middle because that's where the growing point is. Um, this one is much harder to avoid the spikes and they're quite dangerous so if you you've got to think about your eyes because the spikes are pointing all directions and it's very hard to see exactly where they are. So, now I've made a start and I've got Roundup or glyphosate with blue dye in it and what I'm aiming to do is get right into the centre there I'm cutting the palm fronds, trying to do it from the inside because then gravity will help them fall out and then you can put on your herbicide onto the cut stump. And this will be effective enough to kill the palm but then of course later on you'll have to tidy it up a bit because it's going to look dreadful. And if you feel you must have a phoenix palm, it's your responsibility to control the, the fruiting because birds will spread them everywhere and also to make sure that no fallen fronds are left lying on the ground, which means you'll have to get them pineappled at some expense. <laughs> 